In this question, uh, we have a game which involves picking coins. We have two people, Anand and Sunil, who are uh, playing this game and it is given that each player in his turn has to pick up a minimum of two and a maximum of six coins. Minimum two coins, maximum six coins and that is the information that is given to us and uh, except that where is, when there is only one coin left in which case the student, the player whose turn it is, he has to pick that one coin which is there and the game continues till all the coins are removed from the table and for the first uh, three questions, we have uh, the rule which says that uh, the player who picks the last coin loses the game. Now, the player picking the last coin loses the game and if we look at the question, the question says if the game starts with 52 coins uh, and it is Anil's turn to play then how many coins should he pick up so as to ensure his win. Now, we need to understand when does a player win and when does a player lose. We know that in this question we know that the player who picks the last coin loses the game. Now, which means that if I we need to understand at which number will a player is a player likely to lose and at which number is a player likely to win. So, if I get a table with one coin I am forced to pick that coin and I will lose the game because the player picking up the last coin loses the game. The same thing happens when will the same thing happen when I get two coins also yes because I have to pick up a minimum of two coins. But then, if there are three coins, there is a table which, which has come to me with three coins, then what can I do? I pick up two coins and, the, and send the table back to my opponent with one coin and make him forced and force him to pick that coin. So, I will win the game. Now, if I get the table with four coins, I do the same thing again. I pick up two, I pick up two coins and send the table, I make the table a losing scenario. Three. If I get 3 coins, I pick up 2 coins and make it a losing scenario. If I get 4 coins, I pick up 2 coins, send it to my opponent. If I get it with 2 coins, I lose. If my opponent gets it with 2 coins, he loses because it is given that both the players play to win the game and they are smart. So, if I lose at a number, my opponent also loses at that number. So, if I get the table at 4 coins, I pick up 2 coins and I win. If I get a table with 5 coins, I pick up three coins or four coins and give a losing table to my opponent so I win. Six coins I pick up four coins or five coins and I win. Seven coins what happens when there are seven coins I can pick a maximum of six coins so I pick six coins or five coins uh, and make it a losing table so I win. Eight coins I can pick six coins so I can still make it a losing table so I win. What happens when there are nine coins? And there are 9 coins, the maximum number of coins that I can pick is 6. If I pick 6 coins, then the table still remains a winning table. If I pick 2 coins, which is the minimum, then there are 7 coins on the table and it is still a winning table. So, when I get a table with 9 coins, I can only make a winning table. I cannot make a losing table. So, I lose. If I make a winning table for my opponent, it means I lose. Similarly, when there are 10 coins, when there are 10 coins, if I pick 2 coins, the table is still a winning table that I am giving to my opponent. If I pick 6 coins with 4 coins, it is still a winning table that I am giving to my opponent. So, both the cases are winning for my opponent which means it is a losing case for me. Now, 10, 9 and 10 are a losing case. Now, continuing this, now to what extent should I continue? I, I understand, I looking at this distribution, you can see that 1, 2 I lose, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 I win and then 2 I lose. Now, you see that we are getting into this pattern 2, 6, 2. So, the next 6 will be winning again, the next 2 after will be losing again. Now, how is that possible? That is possible because whenever I get a table, I only need to take the table to the closest losing scenario so that I can win. For example, if I get a table with 15 coins here, now all I need to do is to bring the table down to 9 coins or 10 coins. So, which means I can pick 5 or 6 and make it a losing table, 14 pick 4 or 5 make it a losing table, 13 pick 3 or 4 make it a losing table. If there are 17 coins, if there are 16 coins I can still pick 6 and make it a lo losing table. If there are 17 coins, so 17 coins the max that I which is 11, 11 is a winning scenario for me, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 all of these are winning scenarios for me. 17 will again be a losing scenario, 18 will again be a losing scenario, so on and so forth. Now, if you notice 2, 6, 2, 6, 2, 
So, this is the pattern in which the losing scenario follows. Now, what is this? When are we getting a losing scenario and when are we getting a winning scenario? Now, if you see this is 8, 8 plus 1 and 8 plus 2 are losing scenarios. 2, 8, 16, 16 plus 1, 16 plus 2 are losing scenarios. You can see that any number which is a multiple of 8 plus 1 and plus 2 will be losing scenarios. The next one will be 24, 19 to 24 will be winning scenarios, 25 and 26 will be losing scenarios. So, 8k plus 1 and 8k plus 2, these will be the losing scenarios. Now, what is this 8? Where did this 8 come from? 8 is nothing but addition of 2 and 6. So, if you get a question where these numbers change, you know what to do with this multiple. This 8 is nothing but the addition of the minimum coins to be picked and the maximum coins that can be picked. Now, this is the number that we need to watch out for to avoid a losing scenario. So, let us look at the question here. If the game starts with 52 coins and it is Anil's turn to play, then how many coins should he pick up so as to ensure his win? Now, there are 52 coins on the table. Now, to ensure that Anil wins, now, what should Anil do? Anil should convert this 52 into a losing table, which means he should convert this 52, he should pick some coins and leave that many coins on the table in this form. The number of coins remaining on the table should be in this form 8k plus 1 or 8k plus 2. So, which means we need to look for the closest multiple of 8 less than 52, obviously less than 52, not greater than 52 because we are removing coins. So, number will only fall. So, the closest multiple of 8 to 52 which is less than 52 is 48. So, 49 coins or 50 coins will ensure that Anil is giving a losing scenario to his opponent which means Anil will win. So, 49, so to make it 49 coins Anil should pick up 3 coins, to make it 50 coins Anil should pick up 2 coins. So, 2 coins or 3 coins which is option D will be the answer for this question. In the next question, which of the following can be the number of coins on the table before Anil's turn to play, if it is known that Sunil would win the game, no matter how many coins Anil picks. Now, the, the options we have are 72, 62 and 89 and there is a none of these. Now, we need to understand the question properly, which of the following coins can can be the number of coins on the table before Anil's turn to play, if it is known that Sunil would win the game. Now, if Sunil is winning the game, no matter what Anil plays, it means that Anil is getting a losing table. Now, if Anil is getting a lo losing table, we need all we need to do is to find out which of these is a losing table, which means we need to find out which of these are in the is in the format 8k plus 1, 8k plus 2. Now, very clearly you can see that 89, which is 88 plus 1 is 8k plus 1, which means that if there are 89 coins that Anil gets, no matter what he does, he has to lose because it is a losing scenario. This question we have, if the number of coins to be picked up on Sunil's turn so as to win the game, no matter what Anil plays is 5, which means the number of coins to be picked up no matter what Anil does is 5, which means Sunil is winning no matter what Anil does, which means Sunil is sending a losing scenario to, to Anil. So, then which of the following could be the number of coins on the table? Let us, let me read the question again. If the number of coins to be picked up on Sunil's turn so as to win the game no matter what Anil plays is 5, then which of the following could be the number of coins on the table. We know Sunil is picking up 5 coins. The question is how many coins are there on the table before Sunil picks up those 5 coins. Now, we know that Sunil is giving a losing scenario to his opponent which means Sunil is converting by picking up those 5 coins he is converting this table into a losing scenario, which means after picking up 5 coins, this table is becoming a lo losing scenario, which means 22 minus 5, 17, 42 minus 5, 37, 69 minus 5, 64. These, one of these should be losing a losing scenario, which means it should be in the form of 8k plus 1 or 8k plus 2. Now, which of these is in the form of 8k plus 1 or 8k plus 2? Very clearly, 17, 16 plus 1. So, which means the number of coins that Sunil had before he started his game is 22 from which he picked 5 coins, made it a 17 coin table which is in the format 8k plus 1 and therefore, is a losing table for Anil. So, no matter what Anil does, Sunil has to win. Now, we have a variation in the rule. Now, the rule says that the person who picks up the last coin wins the game. 
Now, if the person who picks up the last coin wins the game, we know that if there is only one coin on the table, the last person wins the game. If there are two coins on the table, the last person wins the game because in spite of the minimum being two, whenever we know, we know that whenever there is only one coin, the person has to pick up that coin and therefore he picks it up and wins. When there are two coins, he can pick it up and win. So we know because he can pick up, pick up a max of six till six coins, we know the person wins the game. Now when there are seven coins on the table, the max that the person can pick is six. So when there are seven coins, he will leave one coin for his opponent and therefore his opponent wins. Or if he picks up the minimum number of coins, he from seven he can only make it five, and his opponent can pick his five and win, which means seven is a losing scenario. Now look at eight. Maximum is six, so he leave two coins on the table. The opponent wins with by picking up those two coins. If he instead picks only two coins, then he is giving his opponent a six coin table, and his opponent can pick all the six coins. So eight is also a losing scenario. Now instead, if there are nine coins on the table. Instead, if there are nine coins on the table, what will happen? If there are nine coins, the maximum number of coins that I can pick is three, which means I can give my opponent a uh, winning table. But instead, if I only pick two coins, if I pick two coins, I will give my opponent a seven coin table, and I know that a seven coin table is a losing scenario. So I will make sure that I pick only two coins and give my opponent a seven coin table. Which means all I need to do is to change the table to the nearest losing scenario. Because I can pick two coins, I can make it a losing table. Similarly, when it's ten, I can still make it a losing scenario. So for the next six cases, so it will be a winning scenario. And we know from what we have discussed in the last rule that the next two will be losing cases, and it will be followed by winning cases. So what's the pattern that is emerging now? Winning till here, losing these two. So what is this eight? Earlier it was eight k plus one and eight k plus two. Here it is eight k and eight k minus one. Eight k is sixteen. Eight k minus one is fifteen. So the ones to look out for on the losing scenarios are eight k and eight k minus one. Now with that understanding, let's look at the question in this. How many coins should Anil pick up to ensure his win if there are hundred coins on? The table. If there are hundred coins on the table, I need to get it to the nearest eight k or eight k minus one. The nearest eight k to hundred is ninety six. Nearest eight k minus one to hundred is ninety five. So Anil needs to pick up either four or five coins to make it a losing table so that he can win. Looking at the next question, if the number of coins Sunil picked up in his turn to ensure his victory was two, so by picking two coins, Sunil converted the table into a losing table. Then, which of the following coins were could have been the number of coins on the table before his turn? Now, if you look at the first option, 33 coins. If 33 coins were there on his table after picking up two coins, it becomes 31. And we know 31 is in the format 8k minus 1, which means it is 33 coins that is that will definitely and that could have been on the table before his turn to play. But then, because there is a more than one of the above also in the options, we'll have to evaluate the remaining two options also. 67. If there is 67 and he, if he picks up two coins, he'll end up with 65. 65 is not 8k or 8k minus one. 65 is 8k plus one, so it's not possible. 101. After picking up two coins from 101, it'll be 99 coins on the table. So 99 is also not 8k or 8k minus one. So option A, 33, will be the answer for this question.